we've seen that importing regions or countries can actually increase their overall surplus by imposing a tariff to the extent that they can shift a portion of the burden of the tariff to the other region or the other country. So here, for example, we have a country that's importing and a country that's exporting. In the absence of a tariff, there's a single price that emerges across the two countries. When a tariff of the size T per unit is imposed, it'll cause the price in the importing country to rise and the price in the exporting country to fall. And the difference in those prices will end up being exactly equal to the per unit tax of the tariff. So we can see the tax revenue that's collected in this country by just multiplying the per unit tax times how much is being imported. So this is how much is being imported. And this vertical distance, which we can also show here, is the per unit tax that's being collected. So when we multiply the vertical times the horizontal distance, we get this box as the total revenue that's being collected in the importing country. But we can see that only a portion of that revenue is collected within that country, the portion that's due to the increase in the price in that country. The other portion is collected in the other country due to the decrease in price in that country. So the upper portion is collected in the importing country, but the lower portion is collected elsewhere. And we can see it in this picture because this is the portion of the tax per unit tax that gave rise to a decrease in price here. Multiply that by the exports, which are equal to the imports over here, and we get that lower box that's equal to this lower half of the tax revenue box here. So this is the portion of the tariff burden that's been shifted to the other country. Now the reason that this country can shift a portion of its tax burden is because it can impact the price on the exporting country. If it couldn't impact the price on the exporting country, it wouldn't have been able to shift a portion of the burden. So we can say that countries can shift a portion of the tariff burden to the extent to which the tariff impacts prices abroad. That's the mechanism by which the tax burden is shifted through the impact on prices in the other country. Now let's think about under what conditions is that not possible. So suppose we had a situation like this where the exporting country had a perfectly elastic supply curve. In that case, when the countries start trading, exporters can buy as much as they want to at this price. The price will never change in this country because of the perfectly elastic supply curve. So exporters will keep buying at this price and keep selling over here, pushing down the supply curve until the prices are equalized where that perfectly elastic supply curve lies. So now this much would be supplied, this much would be demanded in the importing country, and the difference is what's coming from the exporting country. Now suppose that this country imposes a tariff. Since it can affect the price over here, the entire increase in price will be equal to the per unit tax. So exporters will buy less here, will sell less here, until prices here rise by the amount of the per unit tax. At that point, we will again have a difference in prices across the two countries that's equal to the per unit tax, exactly the difference that's required to compensate exporters for the fact that they have to pay this per unit tax. So now the entire price change happened within the importing country. And this country will now have this much supplied by domestic producers, this much bought 
by domestic consumers and the tax revenue it collects is this per unit tax times what's being imported so this box here a box that is paid entirely by the residents of the importing country because prices haven't changed over here so in that case the tariff will decrease the overall surplus in the importing country we can see that by just looking at consumer surplus and producer surplus without the tariff and with the tariff. Without the tariff, the price is this lower magenta price. So consumers would pay that price and get the surplus that's above that price up to the demand curve. So that would be area A, this little area B in here, C, D, E, and F. So A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F. Producers would produce very little and they'd get everything below that magenta price to their supply curve. So that's just this little area G. After the tariff is imposed, the price has risen. So consumers now have to pay this higher price and they'll just get area A and B, everything above that price up to the demand curve, A plus B. Firms will be able to sell at that higher price, so they'll get everything below that price down to the supply curve, C plus G. But we also have to account for the tax revenue. When we account for the tax revenue, there is no tax revenue without the tariff, but with the tariff, we get this tax revenue box, E. So we can now see what happens as we shift from one column to the next. In both cases, we get an A, so we don't lose that. We get a B, a C, a G, and an E. But we lose D and F, this triangle D and this triangle F. So there is a deadweight loss that's equal to D plus F because none of the tax burden has been shifted to make up for some of that loss. So we can see that the more elastic the supply curve in the exporting country, the less of an ability the importing country has to shift a portion of the burden to the other country. And we can think about what that means in terms of large and small countries. If a country is small and is importing, then its ability to affect prices abroad is very limited. So this would be really the case of the rest of the world being big and this country being small and therefore not having the ability to impact prices abroad. If this country is a really big part of the world economy, then it might have some ability to influence prices abroad and to the extent that it has that ability, it can shift a portion of the tax burden abroad but the smaller countries get relative to the rest of the world, the less of an ability they have to shift these tax burdens because the less of an ability they have to impact prices elsewhere.